Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Spectrum Drama where we take a look at the hottest posts on Spectrum for the week and give our opinions on them. Let's get started. Okay, so first up we've got a post from John Bradley and it says, if having to manage eating and drinking is too much of a bother for you, then bad news, <laughs> things are only going to get worse. Um, and I think he's probably right. I mean, he's got a list here. I'll read a few of them out. Um, but here are some features unlikely, you're unlikely to look forward to. Uh, component wear and tear. You know, that's going to happen. You are going to have to constantly be repairing parts of your ship. Um, death of a spaceman um, is going to have actual consequences when you die, uh, which is going to push you back a little bit. Um, healing. You know, there's going to be times when you can't just shove a med pen in and hope for the best. You're going to actually go and find a med bay. So th there's going to be a million things which are going to slow down gameplay and make it more immersive. Uh, and this food and drink thing is literally just one of them. Um, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's uh, one way of putting it. It's uh, th th This eating and drinking mechanic uh, kind of debate is going to be going on for a few months, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's still a lot of people that really don't like the idea of it at all, but um, no, like we said in the last video, we've got ships with toilets in them. Like, what did you think the toilet was for? <laughs> yeah. You know, I and mean, come on. I, I get it that people really don't like it, but at the end of the day, it's, it's probably going to be in there. Um, it's just yeah, something we we have to uh, kind of test give our feedback on and hopefully we find a, a happy medium for it yeah yeah i think um a lot of people are scared like he says here he perfectly understands the fact that you know most folks don't want star citizen to be a survival game like daisy or rust etc and um you know we, we we made that um kind of comparison to arc um last time we, we discussed this um in that you know those sorts of games you're constantly eating and drinking but that is because that is really the main um aspect of the game is 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 just that hardcore survival and so they're going to make it as difficult as possible um whereas this game it is just one of one million things that you have to think about on a daily basis when you're playing this game um and it would just be it would just be a thing you do um you know i mean we do it every day i mean you know most of us eat three times a day and we don't think about it we just do it it's just a thing we do It'll be the same in the game eventually. I'm sure a lot of these people who are moaning now, once it's in there and we're just used to doing it, it'll just be another thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, I can't. I don't know. Part of me gets the feeling that people that compare this proposed mechanic to something like um, Daisy or Rust or Ark or whatever, um, I get the feeling that those people haven't actually played those games. Um, yeah, maybe. That they just kind of arbitrarily think that it's going to become like one of those games that Star Citizen is going to become one of those games when yeah. if you'd actually played them you would know how often you have to do it and you would know that CIG is never going to make us have to eat a burger every 10 minutes it's not going no. to happen no no it's, it's not feasible I mean the, the amount of stuff you like we've said you have to do in this game um, the thing that's the, you, you've hit the nail on the head there as well is that a lot of these people maybe they haven't really immersed themselves into games like Rust and stuff like that. Where in this game there is so much, or there will be so much downtime while you're quantum traveling, whilst you're doing other things, um, that it will just be a thing you do in the interim. Whereas in yeah. games like Rust, it's it is the mechanic, it's the main mechanic. That's all yeah. you're doing. You're just whatever you're doing during the day is to find food and then eat it so you don't die um it's very very different and so those comparisons they don't really work um and i, I think that cig will nail this because they've got a very good understanding of what we want and that and they wouldn't be putting this in knowing full well it's going to piss everyone off so i think level heads basically is what we need until we actually kind of see how this is going to impact on the game yeah 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 we need to see it try it Give feedback, uh, you know. And like you say, once you've been doing it for a couple of days, it would just probably just become second nature to, you know, get out of your your had bed. You look at your your status of your character. He's a bit cold. Okay, I'll put some you know, warmer clothes on. Oh, I'm getting a bit hungry. 
Uh, I'll munch a burger. All right, let's go. Yeah. Cool. So next up, we've got a post from Hodo, and it says to clear up some confusion about griefing versus unwanted PvP. And I know we've covered this a couple of times before, but I think it's one of those things where it does need to be covered repeatedly because people don't seem to be getting the message. <laughs> so uh, um, first, PvP is not griefing and pad ramming is not PvP. Um, so there's a lot of people in this game who play it as PvPers. Um, you know, they're not really looking necessarily to make friends or roam the verse holding hands. Um, they want to go out, they want to shoot people and steal their shit or whatever, you know, that's kind of their goal. Um, griefing is very different. Griefing is um, the act of intentionally attempting to ruin another person's gaming experience. That's a really good way of putting it. Well done, Hodo. Um, and that is what people are doing when they either take advantage of things which maybe the game isn't supposed to do. Um, pad ramming is griefing, I, as far as I'm concerned, because you are ruining someone's day before they even got started. That's, that is griefing. So I think that that definition needs to be really split and people need to understand that when someone blows you up, they're not griefing you. They're just playing the game, basically. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like you say. Um, yeah, I've got really nothing to add to this. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> you're either a PvP or you're a griefer, and it's um, it's pretty obvious which one you are based on what activity you're doing against said player. It's uh, mm. yeah, it's pretty obvious. Um, I don't, I've not seen too many people get this mixed up. Although I do, you do kind of see some people just throwing the griefing word around or, or grieving yeah. because they can't spell it properly. Um, yeah. I think um, I think the biggest problem is um, it's anger. I don't think people are confused between griefing and PvP, like you say. Mm. They just something happens, they get angry, and they go, "You're griefing," because they don't know what else to say. Yeah, leave me alone. Be- oh, were, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> you, you bully. <laughs> they were bested in combat, and they don't want people to realise that, so they just throw griefing out there, and it's a shame. I've been killed many a time by other players, and I don't think they're griefing me. They're just far better at shooting me down than I am at shooting them. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Yeah. Yeah, the, the top response here from uh, a guy called Gazbeard uh, kind of highlights um, some players' mentalities, I suppose, where he, he's saying that it takes so much focus to actually do the mining mechanic itself because you've got to concentrate yeah. on three different levels of the HUD and, um, you know, it can explode if you're not paying attention. That... Um, you might not see that contact come into range and start shooting you before it's too late. Um, yeah. And he says, in his opinion, that any combat against a mining ship that is actively mining is not just unwanted PvP, it is also griefing. Um, bah! Gazbeard, you're wrong. <laughs> you're very wrong. You are wrong. <laughs> we can't get any closer to our mics. No. Uh. Um... <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a little bit idiotic. Uh, I'm quite surprised that this has been upvoted as much as it has because yeah. it's just silly. Um, yeah. yeah. Dude, if you're mining, you just got to take the risk. Deal with it. Yeah. Either get an escort or just be okay with getting blown up every now and again. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. You're, you're, you're doing a job. Uh, you're, you're, you're taking in valuable resources and you think that pirates aren't going to want that. It's not griefing. It's it's PvP. Is 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 if if anything, that is literally the definition of what people will be doing for PvP in this game. They'll be looking for vulnerable people who have cargo and taking it. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, so if you're on your own in a prospector, that's your first mistake. Yeah. Um, and and if yeah, like um, uh, Hippias says, if you need an escort, basically, and yeah. you're golden. <laughs> They can um, act like a little mozzie whilst you fly away. Simple. Yeah. yeah. Take a look out with you or find somewhere very quiet to do it and run a stealth build on your prospector. Not that yeah. you're going to get much stealth when you're actively mining because I'm pretty sure your your uh, EM, uh, you know, your signatures are just going to shoot up through the roof anyway. But, um, oh, yeah. You know, it's just... Uh, it's, it's one of those things. Um, yeah, if you want to see this in action, go and play EVE Online. Oh yeah, yeah. If you want to see griefing, as you call it, um, that's basically all you'll see. <laughs> um, Eve was a mean, mean game, but you know you got to take the rough with the smooth. If you want to earn some money mining and you're doing it in dangerous space, you're going to get shot at occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, if you're if you're that worried about you know, getting sharp when you're mining, then you, uh, I believe the idea for COG was was to put uh, kind of exactly how they've done it with Eve, where you've got like an area of space which is highly controlled by uh, the military. Um, yeah, and you'll be relatively safe there. You won't be a hundred percent safe because people might not give a crap if the military is around. But it's an option for you. Yeah. Play it safe. Okay, so next up we've got a post from Tomato, and it says, How does CIG's Squadron 42 roadmap excuse make sense? Um, so, watching the first new call in all devs, three things stuck out to him that were, um, well, actually, some interesting information. Um, so he says, Jared was desperately trying to brand the new format as raw and unvarnished, um, which is their rehearsed approximation for honest as he kept saying. Um, they wasted the first 15 minutes making excuses, um, the main of which was that the roadmap was not fit for purpose, um, and it basically didn't cover the simultaneous chapters, etc, etc. Um, and then they put out 40 minute episode on Squadron 42 progress without mentioning whether the beta was still on track, you know, uh, or had it been pushed back, etc. These are the things people want to know, and they kind of skirted it. It was essentially pointless. <laughs> yeah yeah I, I can I can see his point uh, definitely so first point Jared was desperately trying to brand it as a new format um yes yes uh, well <laughs> he was kind of saying it was raw and uh, and all that but it was kind of edited anyway yeah but it wasn't completely raw yeah the, the fact is that you know, you can have what they really do sh or should have is if they're going to go raw, then they should have no editing. They should just have them guys sit down um, and just honestly talk about what they, you know, what what's going on. Um, you know, no censorship, no nothing. But that would never happen with CIG because I think there's so much they do not want us to know. Um, and that brings up the last point, um, which he makes very very. Um, um, carefully <laughs> um, is that you know the the whole idea um, really of and why people back this game was of this open development and the fact that you know we we should really at every step of the way know kind of what's going on where they are and where we're heading and it seems that that's become cloudier and cloudier lately especially with Squadron 42 to the point where none of us really know are we going to get a beta this year next year you know what what's going on um and i think that's the main gripe of most people it's just this this obfuscated um development now that they seem to have yeah yeah they've been called out for this a couple of times now and uh mm. nothing seems to be changing so i don't know at what point you know you, we can scream it every day that they need yeah. to give us more sort of insight on progress and things but if they're not going to do it which they're clearly not um, it just becomes futile. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's just wasting their breath. I mean, the one thing I will say is that um, I know lately it does seem like the majority of the posts that we're covering and the majority of what we're talking about is not negative, but it is, um, it, it can be quite um, sort of point the finger at CIG, but it just is the way it is at the minute. They, they've, they've, they've got a lot of work to do, I think, to bring everything back round to where it's going to keep their backers happy, um, because they've kind of gone away a little bit from our roadmap. Now, the the backers' roadmap, um, it should just be a straight line that yeah. shows what CIG are doing, um, and they keep darting across it and hiding shit in the corners, and that's the problem. Um, so, you know, it's not got really anything to do with the game because i guarantee you you speak to any backer who's moaning to the high heavens about this they love this game and will play it till they die but it doesn't change the fact that the development has kind of gone off the rails a bit as far as we can see and it would just be nice to kind of have some clarity so i think that's kind of what we're getting at with these posts we're not poking fun at cig we just really want to push them on the right track again you know Cool, so last up we've got a post from Rusty and it says, uh, petition to stop petitions for food. And I'm going to read it like I, I, I imagine it in my head. Y'all making me hungry. 
<laughs> like that. <laughs> um, because, you know, you've got to love a, a southern accent. Um, <laughs> so basically, I'll be honest with you, I, I've been a bit out of touch recently because um, I've, uh, yeah, just been a bit crap and not very well. Um, I had to even ask Cryco, what's this all about? And he was like, oh no, have you not seen the amount of petitions for different types of food in the verse? Yeah. <laughs> what an amusing idea. <laughs> yeah, the, the first couple were kind of funny, but now there's like about 100 of them, I think, yeah. going around the spectrum. You know, can you put schnitzel in the verse? Can you put <laughs> fish and chips in the verse? They're like, oh, come on, man, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, it's getting a bit long, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of bored of them now. Yeah. We demand the schnitzel. Yeah. Um, Give yeah. schnitzel. <laughs> Give schnitzel. Um, yeah. It is quite funny. And, and yeah, I can imagine it being entertaining for a little while. But um, after a while, yeah, it's you start to fill up Spectrum. It's hard to find things in Spectrum through the kind of, no offence, <clears throat> and don't mean it like this, but nonsense posts, essentially. They are um, nonsense. It's not. They're not really helping. No. You know. um, but um, maybe what we need to do is we need to pull all our resources, right? Here is, this is my recommendation to you people of Spectrum, um, you lovely, lovely, bizarre weirdos, um, <laughs> is take all of your posts on one subject and then put them in one post about that subject. Yeah. You don't need to create 75 posts on one thing. Uh, we read Spectrum a lot because we have to find these posts. And I tell you what, it is a nightmare because you go, well, which post do I pick? There's 15 here, all about the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that would be my advice. It's just maybe everyone work together um, and, um, and, and you know, try and clean up Spectrum a little bit. <laughs> it's funny that you mention that, actually, because there's about three posts with this exact same thing on it. Uh, a petition really? to stop petitions for food. Yeah, there's about yeah. three of them, I think, on Spectrum. It's... Um, yeah, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Please stop, please. 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 <laughs> I mean, what would be good as well is like, we, we've said it before and, you know, don't get me wrong, moderating a forum is hard work um, because there's a lot of people on there and most of them are normally angry. Um, but the moderators on this forum are particularly stern and it would be interesting to see the moderators maybe go, oh, look, three posts about exactly the same thing. That all they need is just some software that smushes them together. Just smush them. <laughs> smush them together. Um, yeah, Make CID's patented smusher. <laughs> and um, yeah, just 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 tidy up a little bit. Come on. Yeah. As for the actual topic, though, um, oh, yeah, I don't really want to see, um, uh, you know, modern day food items in the game. Uh, yeah. Not really fussed about. I mean, there are some already. You know, you got like the torpedo burrito and. Uh, yeah. There's the hot dog and Big Benny's noodles, and, and that's fine, okay, whatever. But um, yeah, you know, considering this game is so far in the future, I'd like to see some interesting looking foods rather than just the boring stuff we've already got. Yeah, alien foods and stuff like that, you know, things that, you know, don't we, we, we have no concept of now, but in the future, you know, we've travelled everywhere in the verse pretty much. There's got to be some amazing dishes out there. Yeah, there's got to be something more appealing than the fish and chips and mushy peas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm hating Although, against fish and chips and mushy peas, because I'm, um, you know. No. Lovely. Yeah, all day long. Maybe uh, maybe my, my petition would just be, you know, maybe a cheesecake factory. Cheesecake, yeah. Purple cheesecake <laughs> made out of some kind of alien plant protein stuff that just looks yeah. weird, but tastes amazing. The, the left testicle of everyone named Dave. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> or that. Um, but yeah, probably the plant stuff, I think, is going to be easier <laughs> to obtain. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, I think it's a good idea and definitely, Rusty, you know, I, I agree with you. We need to stop all these petitions. But um, yeah, maybe if, if they could just put them all in one place and we can all go and add our favourite foods everyone can laugh and it doesn't have to fill up Spectrum we're all good yeah okay so there you have it that is all the posts for this week uh, we hope you liked them we hope you found them informative or amusing um, if you did like them then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Star Citizen content um, and don't forget to let us know your opinions on all of these topics in the comment section below 
And don't forget, if you haven't already, sign up to our Discord and uh, you can have a chat with us and our awesome Discordians. Is that a word? It is now. Discord. It is. Welcome, Discordians. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're always gaming, doing random stuff. So uh, yeah, come and say hello. Um, but that's pretty much it for this week. So thanks everyone very, very much for watching. And we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.